Hi everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, Raf. I'm very, very excited today for this episode. Yes, I'm excited as well because you there's going to be a bit of a twist in this episode. Yes. <laughs> Change some dynamics in this episode. Uh, this morning, we are going to have someone I don't know myself. I <laughs> have no idea who this person is. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm very honored to have my sister with me. I don't know what's happening. So this morning, we're going to talk about something that is very interesting to explore. And this is the idea of minimalism. So minimalism, uh, you already are aware of minimalism, correct, Shirley? You're maybe yes. practicing in your life right now. Uh, minimalism is a new lifestyle, philosophy, an experimental lifestyle. Depends on how you see it. This is a new movement that is happening globally that is about this idea that you don't need much. You only need the important things in life. So this applies to a lot of things. So if everybody is familiar with Marie Kondo, are you familiar with Marie Kondo, Shirley? Yes, yes. I follow her and I watch her videos in Netflix. Yes. What can you say about the Marie Kondo life? Uh, I think it's all about transformation of lives. Eh? That, that's how I see it. Eh? Yeah. Parang sometimes simple things that you do could actually give you a very huge impact in your life. That's like, true. Eh, you, can, you can have your self-worth by you know, just fixing your bed. Yes. Diba? And that if you're going to do that every day, so you're creating a habit of honoring yourself by doing that simple things. Because sometimes, siguro sa sobrang complex nitong buhay natin, no? sa dami yeah. ng complication, yung mga maliliit na bagay, yun yung hindi natin nakikita. Pero it actually give you a sense of uh, fulfillment to do more. That's true. So for example, you can see this episodes sa Marie Kondo. Na, kung ikaw nga mismo makita mo how cluttered people's houses are, they're um, not letting go of their memorabilia, mm-hmm. books from the past, their shirts from 20 years ago because they have a sense na they have to keep this stuff but they defaulted into this idea that more is better. Yeah. However, clearly, having more might not be the ideal things. And maybe what's important is for us to keep the essential. What's important? That's why it's hard because you have to have a shift in mind. Mm-hmm. So That's true. this morning, we are going to have someone. Uh, again, <laughs> someone <laughs> love and someone I hate at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede pala yun. <laughs> Would you hate? Or oh, dislike. <laughs> We're going to have this morning. Uh, who is? She is, uh, to give her a bit of a reduction, this is kind of weird. Um, well, she is the CEO of Sunny and Marsha Holdings. That is a company that manages Macho Mucho. It's a chain of barber shops. Hair Food Co., which is a chain of retail mm. shops. And it's an online shop as well. Crowning Glory and Lounge, our, uh, her, our, <laughs> our, trip, our uh, Neil Salon, and she also is the Chief Operating Officer of New Bold View. Yes, thank God she's part of New Bold View, and sometimes, in, uh, thank God she is the Operating Officer. I'm like, really, are you, I know, is that a problem <laughs> for but no, um, I'm happy she's with us. Yeah. And, and I'm amazed by her because uh, she really changed. This is like she's really speak, she's really walking the talk mm-hmm. when it comes to minimalism to the point that it gets on my nerves because <laughs> this morning she looked into my room and looking for things to fix and clean. And I'm like, please get uh, put me out of this minimalism bubble because she just cleaned the house. It's so much cleaner, that's for sure. Um, and she's now ready and excited to share her ideas about minimalism. Are you excited about that, Shirley? Yes, yes. Because I'm starting to, you know, adopt this kind of principle. But I think, siguro parang kulang pa sa, sa push. May ganun, di ba? Parang minsan makikita mo, oh, ang ganda niyan, ideal. Pero how to put that into action uh, yeah. could really kick us out to really do it. Yes, it's always a decision kasi is this, parang sabi niya ni Marie Kondo, that's yes. part of it. I don't know myself. Mm. I don't know myself. Or does this, um, is this something I let go? And this, ano kasi, 
That's the hardest part, eh, of how to let go of the things that has a sentimental value to you. That's true. That's true. So this morning, let me introduce to you no one else <laughs> who's a uh, who, uh, she's already here beside me right now, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome my sister. Fortunately, then <laughs> Tay <laughs> Laiko. There you go. Hey. Hi, Tay. Welcome, welcome to the new boat, you. Yes. Hi. Sobrang work at home kind of ano no arrangement lalabas yeah. sa side. Okay. And, ano, talaga kay Kay no, talagang very ano siya pagka na yan siya mga before and after dun sa mga posts na talagang nakaka-inspire. Talaga ko. Yes, yeah, so the before and after, 'di ba? You're fixing I think your whole house there in Jensen. Yeah. So we started two days ago. Yeah. And then we started with the clothes, old clothes, then the books. Yeah. Then yesterday, I think we did the kitchen, the dining, and then right now, I think that's a ninety percent. Takame, yeah. Woo! Come in our house too. <laughs> Please, can can I? <laughs> Alata ba hindi ako impressed? Okay, eto na. Um, guys, it's gonna be a, dy- a shift of dynamics. I'm just gonna be outside of the conversation. I wanted this to be Shirley and Kay's conversation because I think they'll be connected. more about this. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the host for this, the main host for this now, Shirley. Hey, hey. Thank, you, Thank you, Rav. Thank you, Rav. See you later. Magsustart na daw siya mag-declutter. Oo. Talaga, ano na, practice what you preach. Ayan, Principal K. Ayan kasi yung tawag namin sa kanya sa New Bold since uh, she's acting like a principal in the New Bold U. So parang you really like how to organize things, right? But my first question is, Did you really start as a uh, being so OC or talagang super organized ka na ba talaga ever since? Yon. I wouldn't say it's OC. I would rather say na I still have room for clutter. For a bit lang. Para lang at least may buhay pa rin naman kahit pa paano. But I really started as my dad would say na burara talaga kami magkapatid. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit of background kasi we grew up with house help. So, di ba, when you have yeah. house help, which is, we are very fortunate for them. Um, kahit saan mo iwan yung gamit mo, okay lang. Kasi you know it will be fixed. Kasi my mom was such a, 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 a very, huy, <laughs> my mom was <is> very, <laughs> ano din, tidy. So talagang every part of the house is clean all the time. So kahit na magkalat kami, Mamaya, maayos na yon. Then, fast forward, college, pinat, um, pinatapon ako ng Manila. Mm. Ng parents ko. So, parang it was my first time to finally see na, oh my gosh, I have to really, um, to to really keep my things kasi nawawala. O di naman kaya your roommate will borrow. Tapos, hindi mo na binabalik. Oo. Diba? So, yun. Um, but, hindi pa ako talaga dun. Kasi, I still had help. I mean, laundry and everything. Mm-hmm. And then, eventually, when I started um, doing business with my brother, I was into, I was in a depressed state. Yun. Oh. Um, I had, um, um, I had depression and I had anxiety. So, pag ganyan kasi, di ba, parang maaano ka, parang, tapos I left the house. Mm-hmm. So, parang I ako sa bago kong space. I kept on buying things. I kept on buying stuff. para matanggal yung yung lungkot lungkot yung boredom mm-hmm. so i ended up buying so many things so when i left the house i only had one car full of stuff mm-hmm. A year later kasi i'm gonna move naman to my new house na but i went back to the old house it was one car and two trucks full of stuff parang One year lang yun na umalis ako. Ang dami-dami ko nang biglang gamit. So, oh. Sabi ko, saan ang kaling to? Parang mindless lang na pagpa-purchase. Mm-hmm. I was purchasing mindless, you know, ah, nakakita ako ng uso, or I saw this sa friend ko, or um, a lot. And then sabi ko, parang hindi na ata siya. Hindi, it's not in a good, um, I'm no longer in control. And then that is when it hit me when I had my credit card bills. So at first I only had one and then I had two. So mabot siya na 300,000, my gosh. 
Oh my God. So all this stuff, like shopping spree talaga yes. because of that depression. Yeah, shopping spree, everything. I mean, I saw this from a friend. She has a new bag or whatever. So talagang umabot ako sa ganun. And then sabi ko, okay, I, I think, um, like, yun, yun yung first, ano sa akin, first, turn bag- around. First panggising. Uh-oh. And then, um, me and two of my best friends, we went to Paris in 2016. Yeah, 2016. Tapos, when we were in Paris, um, siyempre, diba, dalawang yung maleta mo? Diba, laki-laki ng mga maleta pag ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos, ako sa point na nasira yung paano isang maleta ko. Ay, nung paano maleta ko. So, sa sobrang hirap niyang igood kasi wala masyadong escalator sa streets Paris. of... Paris, oo. Sabi ko, to, to the point na talagang binagsak ko na yung bag ko because it was so heavy and sinipasipa ko na siya. Sabi ko, oh my gosh, parang half of those things inside my bag weren't even useful to me. Hindi ko naman nagagamit. So sabi ko, when I when I go back to, when I go back home, um I start to be a, a light packer na lang. I pack as much things as as I did. Kasi ba diba, I mean, pag nag- yeah. well, Mm-hmm. Upa ko, magamit ko to, magamit ko yan. Eto, tis, you end up, you know, using only half of, of what you brought. And I think, yun yung second ko talaga na, na panggising sa akin na ni, ni God, na, you know what, you have to start being intentional and mindful, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> intentional and mindful of what you consume because it's, it's, It's gonna be it's gonna be something that you think about one day. So yon. Yeah. So that's my my ano my. So parang based din sa mga stories mo no, like talagang parang sinasabi na hindi ka talaga parang born to be like minimalist. But because oh. of the circumstances and the experience that you had in your life, like like you've said the depression. So parang yung naginawa mong outlet is to do shopping and then three hundred thousand. Oh my god, that's really a big money. Oh oh. So talagang nagkautang na three hundred thousand for shopping spree just to satisfy yourself because of depression. Yes. And then, nahirapan ka sa Paris. And then, nag-anxiety ako ulit. Oh. So, endless na siya. So, so for... parang your experience and your emotions, ito talaga yung naging decision-making mo na parang I have to change something yes. in myself. Yes. Pero, di- surely, disclaimer lang. I, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm single, so wala akong mga anak, wala akong asak. Ah. Para lang, baka kasi sabi nila, uh, Um, it's also based on lifestyle, right? So, ako, yeah. uh, I don't have kids, but I travel a lot for work. So, Which when... I think yun nga, Kay, yung very unique to you. Kasi ako ngayon, kaya ako nagpa-practice nung ganyan, parang, yes. parang gearing towards ako with the minimalism. It's because of my lifestyle now. Like, hindi na ako pwedeng bumili ng maraming sapatos, hindi na ako pwedeng yes. bumili ng maraming damit or bags. Because, yes. ang daming gamit ng mga bata Mm-hmm. So parang doon ako, kaya ako nag adjust ngayon. It's because of that. Pero ikaw, as a single person, you have that kind of mindset already. And I think that's also inspiring. Mm. Um, for me, kasi I came also across, kasi diba when you're aware mm-hmm. of something that's happening within you, suddenly answers come your way. Paunti-unti. By a, you know, by a quote that you see on Facebook or a video that you see. And then I came across this, ano, this group or this Um, these guys in in YouTube, they're the minimalists. So it's um, Joshua and Ryan Nicodemus. So they're mm-hmm. the minimalists in this group. And I I felt nakarelate ako so much doon sa stories nila. Wait, kasi they were business executives, and then ganun den endless pursuit of buying so much. Yeah. Pursuit of ano yung feeling na lumalaki naman as well. Doko pero parang walang natitira sa akin. Oh. Okay. Parang ganoon. So parang na, na-feel ko 'yun na parang wala siyang katapusang bili tapos hindi na sa yung pera mo. Pero kumikita ka naman, pero parang parang hindi natatapos. So mm-hmm. magpapakaundagaga ka ulit with work. Magpaka you know, you won't stop working until until you make it. But then again, when you're at that point, you keep on buying things and then wala, walang katapusan. So that's actually that's when I started with my minimalism journey. Oh, so that's so deep, no? Kaya siguro din yung marami ding mga tao ngayon, especially the employees, yung parang, ang dami nilang hinahanap ngayon, yes. no, na parang contentment, pero kahit na may pera, or meron silang mga bagay na nakikita, mm-hmm. till it's not something na, 
parang nakokontento or hindi sila napapasaya. Or kung yeah. napapasaya sila, pero hindi... For a short while. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh, oh. that's right, that's right. Sige. Okay. So, okay, can you take us to your journey on how did you shift? For sure, it's not really a, a very easy and a very, yeah, a very easy decision to make. Yes. Pero, ano na yung point na parang, or kailan na yung araw na sinabi mo sarili mo na, this is it. Uh, I want to limit my spending. I want to use uh, that everything that I buy and put it into good use. Okay, so let's first, ano, um, you, when we say kasi minimalism, people have different um, definitions of it. Yeah. When I told my dad I'll be a minimalist, he was like, ano, um, di ka na magdadamit? <laughs> you only keep one piece of clothing, is that it? Parang ganon, tapos parang you'll only have one plate. So, mm-hmm. Iba-iba kasi yung definition ng minimalism for different people. I agree, and I agree. People get too technical. Oh, if you have more than 100 things, it's no longer minimalism. So may mga ganun pa. Pero for me kasi, kaya nga sinasabi ko sa mga Facebook post ko, I'm a self-proclaimed minimalist. Kasi I don't want to be inside a definition of other people on what they say minimalism is about. So for mm-hmm. me, I really started, I just gave myself a challenge. So remember, I went back here sa bahay namin kasi my house was about to finish na dun sa sarili ko ng bahay. Mm-hmm. And that house is only 46 square meters. Up and down pa. So, ma- maliit siya. So, sabi ko, okay, I'll give myself a challenge. So, I just packed myself two suitcases of what I think are essential for me and then yung ref ko, yun lang. Okay. And then I brought that to my new house. So, sabi ko, if if I see how my days go by and I don't see the need for me to go back for those things, it means na hindi ko talaga sila kailangan. Oh. So, ever since, I only went back to this house for, for me to get my other stuff. Siguro twice. Doon mo nakikita, ah, okay, I need pala that. Mm. Kasi, di ba, I mean, sa everyday living ko, oh, I need pala that, I need pala this. So, yun na yun, nag-start. And then eventually, hanggang sa, nakalimutan ko na yung mga, ga- mga gamit dito sa house. Meron tayong viewer, guys. <laughs> so, yun. So, Hi. I, sabi sa'yo, Shirley, hindi siya makakatiis. Yes, I know. Join us, Ralph! <laughs> so, yun. So, when I went to, when I had my own house na, so, sabi ko, um, I keep on going away, so I don't want it na maging messy. Mm-hmm. So yung layout ng house ko is just really open. It's very small. Siguro mga five hakbangs ka lang when you, oh, when you when you enter the front door. Mga five steps lang, you're at the back door na. Ganyan siya kaliit. So parang you're, you're really practicing your ano na, minimalism uh, kind of approach to your new house. Yes. It's easy to clean. It's just a space where I have mm-hmm. four pieces of four pairs of spoon and fork for, I know, for plato and everything. Because that's my lifestyle. I don't mm-hmm. really eat a lot. So, yeah. okay, can you share? Um, si, diba, from, from the before na sobrang clutter, ang daming mga, ang daming, ang daming mong binibili, ang daming mong gamit. Yes. From being to becoming a minimalist. No? Kasi natuto ka na from that experience. Yes. Ano yung siguro parang three things na nabago sa sa ano mo sa sa buhay mo no that you can share to us yeah. from being a minimalist um it kasi um i think for everybody it's a different journey mm-hmm. but for me talagang what i held on to the held on to was the idea na what if god tells me okay you have to go there because i have a mission for you mm-hmm. and i can't because i have so much stuff na iisipin pa so I wanted to live a life that I can just uproot any time to fulfill God's, you know, mission for me without thinking of my stuff. So when that was clear to me, na parang, hey, your your stuff isn't your life. So that's when I finally, you know, finally everything fell into place. Because you have to have a, a really good purpose at first. What changed for you? Three things I say na mas maayos na ako sa gamit ko. Mm. Ah, my mom would be proud. <laughs> I tell you, Shirley, diba, I told you kanina, my mom would be like, ha, ikaw nagsasabi niya, you don't yeah. minimalize yourself before. So number one, I was, um, I was um, better of handling my stuff. Mm-hmm. Second, I was better with money. Mm-hmm. And third, it no longer stopped me from 
what I think are most essential, which is relationships. So before we we kind of think that we need parang we need more stuff, but napapabayaan natin yung relationships natin. Yeah. So I think those three. And I wanted yeah. to be very intentional with the way I live. Oh, with, I really like it. I really love it. Oh. Intentional living. Yeah, intentional. But can you also to, ano, um, yeah, before we we continue, baka yeah. you would like to say hello muna to our viewers. We hey, have 63 viewers. viewers right now and they are saying hello to you. Say hey, hi to Erica. Hi, Erica! Yeah. Hi, Coach Van! Hi, uh, Nan! Hello! Hey, June! Hey, June. Miss Dorcas! Miss Dorcas! <laughs> yeah. Carla, I don't have my Facebook with me! Oh my gosh! Uh oh, so just say hello to them. They're learning! Hi, Nico! <laughs> Ralph, your, your phone is on the camera. <laughs> You're so excited. I'm sorry, manager. Manager. <laughs> Yeah, so hello, hello to all of you. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're gonna learn with our principal. Oh my gosh! So, yeah, so to continue that, Kate, can you give us like parang how to be, how, how can you start to be a minimalist? Siguro we can start with the things that you always, I know, siguro bring. Like for example, can you show us your bag? Okay. Um, siguro you can start with that. And then later on, we can siguro further to go to the house, ganyan. So paano mag-start? Yan. And ito, instant bag raid. <laughs> it's my working bag. Uh -oh. So it's a bag I bought five years ago. So, ito lang so this bag is your daily bag. Yes. So you use this uh when like every day ganyan. Every Even day. To work. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Tapos sa bag ko, let's just start before. Di ba remember Shirley yung nausi yung time na super ganyan kalalaki yung mga wallet. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Tapos ang daming cards. Mm hmm. So that right now this is my wallet. Oh my god. So the pagkakasya mo diyan. Yeah, oh, open it, open. Let's do ah! the wallet raid. <laughs> driver's license ko. Okay, so basically ano yung laman ng wallet mo? Yeah, it's just my driver's license. Mm -hmm. My driver's license. Uh one office credit card. And then my SM advantage card. Yun lang. And then cash. So, oh. that, I'll give people a tip, ah. Kasi, mm -hmm. di ba, sabi nila, eh, hindi, eh. Dami kong cards. May Mercury Drug card ako. Yeah. May Hardware card ako. May NDS card. And daming cards. Kasi, di ba, parang, I need those. Kasi, tipid din, eh. Oo. Uh -oh. May but, points. But that is when unintentional and mindless purchasing happens. Oh, okay. Can so, you tell us about more of that? For example, it's just a tip that I recently discovered myself. Because, for example, we go to the, you know, we just suddenly go to the mall with no intention of going to the mall at all, buy things we don't really intend to buy at all in the first place. Eh, dahil nandiyan na lahat yan, yung mga cards mo, you use it, right? Oh. So, what I mean, if, um, I, I don't just go to the mall just because. I go to the mall because nandun yung ibang businesses namin. But I go to the mall because I have a list of what I need to buy. And then, I'll get the card, the Suki card or loyalty card that, you know, nakakailanganin yeah. ko. And that's when I purchase. So, I don't bring them all all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm learning. <laughs> For example, I'll go to um, the bookstore. If I really want to go to the bookstore, I'll think about it when and what am I gonna buy. And then that's when I actually bring the bookstore card. Oh, so parang you're saying na parang you really have to plan it out. Yes, and then uh -oh. intentional yung pagbuy, hindi yung yeah. kung damdamin and everything. Uh, oh Kasi, my God, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like for example, um, another tip I can give our viewers is to unsubscribe <laughs> email list. Promise. Those are just, you're just putting yourself sa gilid ng well na isang ano lang sa'yo, you'll buy it na because tukso. Tukso talaga siya. Mm -hmm. So, this is me become, because my lolo is also uh, a full-blown Ilocano. So, yun yung lagi niyang kinukwento ng bata ko na we give value sa money because it's hard-earned. Mm -hmm. So, yun. so parang eto okay no tung tung lifestyle na to yung pinili mo lifestyle like being minimalist yes. akibat din talaga niya yung magkakaroon ka rin ng financial literacy 
Yes, actually it's, it goes hand in hand. Kasi um, with, with minimalism comes yun sa mindful na pagpo-purchase, yeah. mindful acquisition of things. So that's why I've been telling you kanina, di ba? May, mm-hmm. may, meron akong ROI. Uh-huh. So I buy things. There should be an ROI for me. A return of investment. I should have oh my God. Uh-huh. for something that gave me back gave me back value for myself. For example, if I buy a bag, that bag should be something I'll be using for a very long time and that will be useful for whatever I'm doing. Yeah. If I buy a vehicle, it should be something that will be helpful in my daily task and everything. For to be more pro- productive. Yeah. To be more productive and not something that I'll buy just for the sake of buying. Yeah. So aside from your wallet, what's the ano? What's the other laman of your bag? So etong wallet mo na to, sorry kay Had, we also have cash there. Yes, ngayon meron kasi talagang, 'di ba, you know na. He, ah, because of the crisis, uh And um yeah. How about photos? Do you keep photos on your wallet? <laughs> you know why? I have photos in my phone. Oh. <laughs> That so is something that talaga parang it's really hard to let go, like the photos. It took time for me to let go of those things. It really took time. But eventually, I got the hang of it. Na parang, mm-hmm. it's wait. <laughs> oh. Then sa mga viewers natin, mag-hello kayo kung meron pa rin kayong mga photos sa wallet ninyo up to now. Yung tipong parang, alam mo yun, inaamag na. <laughs> Yung mga two by two nila, one by one. <laughs> Because Even their graduation it, photos. Yes. May mga photos kasi na keeps, keeps us inspired, right? Like, mm. photos of children. For me, photos of my mom and dad. However, it came to a point na dilapidated. Dilapidated. The sila, sila. Yeah. It's better to put to put them somewhere safe. So, another is yung aking... Ayan. What you call it? Pencil case? Pencil case. Oo. So, I have a cutter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a pencil and a highlighter. Dapat na container. Yun lang. Oh my god. How many pens do you have? Two. Two pens. One red and one black. Nandito sila kasi nagte-take note ako kanina. Mm. Tapos may phone of course. Susi ng car. And shout out kay Nell and Divine. <laughs> <You know, laughs> Alam ko na 'yan. Oils. <laughs> You know, actually, and then my ano, oil control film. That's everything I have in my bag. So you don't have any makeup? I, it's in my office. I have a small pouch in the office. In my car, I also have a small pouch of makeup. So, surely, ganito ang isipin natin. If, for example, you're gonna go up a mountain, this is actually a very good point I want minimalist I've seen. If you're gonna go up a mountain, um, what would you rather have in your bag? Diba? Would you want all these things, all these stuff? Because what you want is for you to live and 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 go through life as as light as possible. Because mm-hmm. everything else is just weight on your shoulder. So, for example, let's say literally in your bag, if you have so many things in your bag, those are weight. Na kailangan mong pag-isipan. Do I really need it this weight? Right? Ilang kilo bag mo, Shirley? Well, right now, it's really small lang. Kasi wala... No, ano lang ako, punta lang ako sa bank. And I use kasi cards din. Yes! Wow, oo. Before, But in your previous work, oh my God, siguro mga 5 kilos. Because we have this idea of just in case. Yes. And feeling ko rin, based sa sinasabi mo ngayon, no, it's really more of... Kasi parang we feel more secured if we have everything in a bag. Especially yes. if you're a mom. So yes. parang, kasi hindi mo alam kung ano yung mangyayari sa mga, pag, lalo pag lumabas ka, di ba? Usually makikita mo talaga yung mga bag ng mga nanay. Yung mga baby bags nila, pumuputok talaga, pero mga two hours lang naman silang nasa mall. Yes, I get that. I get that. And I'm not gonna be, I, I'm not the right person to talk about that kasi I'm not a mom. But there are other minimalist mothers who can share their ideas on YouTube about how to be, a mini, how to be minimal even though you're a mom. Kasi yeah. Like, ang routine ko lang naman is work, home, work, home. So, everything I need, it's just, you know, I keep one one piece of it in this place because I'm gonna use it there. But not necessarily, nagdala-dala ko sila sa bag ko. 
And if it's um, it's just for me, because it's just an added weight. Eh. And how much weight do you really want on your shoulders? Because remember, if you have so much weight on your shoulders, you're limited on your actions. You're limited on what you can do. And it also pertains to everything in general, yeah. not the the bag, but also, de ba? Uh, minimalism actually, surely, is not just for stuff. It's actually also yes. for people. Oh, I think that's the habit then kasi. Eh. Like yes. it's okay. Um, 'di ba sabi mo kanina you travel a lot? Yes. Uh, like before, did you buy pasalubong ba? Kasi 'di ba usually parang ano sa atin ng mga Pinoy, especially that you have a staff, you have yes. a company to run. Definitely when you go outside of the country or out of town. Yes. Merong mga binebentang mga magnet ganyan or mga keychains. If before I did, nung lalo na nung nagsi-start pa lang kami mag-travel abroad and like half of the baggage is usually pa sa lubo. Mm-hmm. And then, mahal-mahal kaya ng ano, additional baggage, baka rin one kilo. I can't remember. Basta mahal. Tapos sabi ko, parang every time ba I'll go abroad, I'll have to buy people pa sa lubo. So, eventually, I just stop. And, they will also stop asking for it. Mm-hmm. To be honest, they will also, for me, kasi they know that I'm Tori, put in at the same time, I'd rather just pagbalik ko, oh, let's eat or something. But, nasasanay lang din sila. And it became kasi an obligation. Umabot mm-hmm. sa time na naging obligasyon ko na magbigay ng pasalubong. Na people are no longer ha- happy about it. People would expect it rather than be, gra- be grateful to to be given something. And that's what I also do in return. I, I, I posted this multiple times on my Facebook before. And even my staff, my people knows. Pag birthday ko, I ask them not to give me gifts. Mm. I tell them, please don't give gifts because as much as I know, as of now, I have everything I need. So, let's just pitch in money for food. Oh. Diba? Okay. Kasi diba, parang this is not really a normal behavior. But it's really... <laughs> I mean, hindi pa siya ganun talaga katanggap ng society because we have a lot of reasons. Especially in the Philippines na... We are very emotional and we tend to attach emotions to the things that we actually don't need or we don't use. Yes. So, meron ba sa mga friends mo na parang in-unfriend ka, ganyan, or parang yes. questioning your beliefs for, you know, doing this, or parang they feel na parang nagmamagaling ka lang, ganyan, or naiinis? Actually, it's not just minimalism. It's every, it, it's when you um, start a conversation, when people think na, and you're not, they're uneasy about it, and they're uncomfortable about it. But that's when self-security comes in it. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if they unfriend me, it's okay. If they unfollow me, it's okay. Wala akong problema doon because it, at some point, they might f- felt, they might have felt offended with what I have said. And when you're, se- you're secure sa sarili mo, hindi ka maapektuhan ng ganun, di ba? So, one friend actually told me, why are you depriving yourself? Kaya, <laughs> na, di ba? Yeah. Why are you driving yourself. Kaya ka nga nagtatrabaho is for you to enjoy life and enjoy mm-hmm. money. Like follow mindset. Mm-hmm. Yes. And for me kasi, it's not what's valuable for me. What's valuable for me is that I can create that I'm okay personally. I'm secured personal, personally. And that I'm gonna use. Kasi ito yun. Um, when we buy stuff, those stuffs depreciate diba, in value. Yes. Yes. So I think you've had a uh, um Two days ago, you've had um, ah, financial finance uh, uh, talk, which might have also, you know, may have may have touched a top about yes, the spending like, habit. Uh yeah. So, like for me, um, I'd rather buy things that would appreciate over time. That is where my happiness. I, I that is my you know some security for myself. Mm-hmm. But for me. Kasi depende ni, eh, like, yeah, what, right. happy ba? what is a valuable for you? For me, kasi, naka, naka, tawid na ako dun sa part na stuff is valuable for me. Before, I don't know, surely, if you've come through that. Yeah. Yung rat race. Mm-hmm. Yung friend, yung para, oh my gosh, um, I have, I had the first iPhone. The very first iPhone, I had that. My dad gave it to me. Hanggang sa, wala na, you're, you're tag as an iPhone person. Nama? Tapos, the next iPhone came, the next iPhone came, and then you spend how much per month for the payment? Ah. And then, the very thing that you found, you felt that was useful to you, and that you thought would make, would give you joy, 
is now actually something that makes you feel you're less because yeah. you don't have the latest one. It's an endless pursuit of buying and buying and buying just so you have something to show off. Yeah. And I think, you know, uh, hindi lang siguro din siya sa gamit, applicable, yung pagiging minimalist. You can also oh, yeah. minimal, <laughs> minimalist <laughs> your friends. Yes. <laughs> no? yes. I was asked this sa New World. Because mm-hmm. um, I don't do Facebook very much. I just returned to Facebook ngayon COVID because I want to be Uh, I also want to be informed. Um, I, they asked me like, because the talk was about laser focus. Eh. So I said, you know what? On Facebook, I have friends, but I unfollow people. Mm-hmm. I unfollow people not because um, um, they're, no, they're no longer my friends, because for me, I just need a certain sense of focus to what I'm doing. And I also say about minima- minimizing the people you have in your life. Diba? Sometimes we have kamag-anaks, right? Yes, that's true. Kamag-anaks, um, people from our childhood, but they don't necessarily spark joy. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love it. They don't necessarily spark joy or they don't... Um, uh, they inspire don't you. Inspire yeah. you or they don't support you or they are the actual... Kumbaga parang ito na yung mga toxic na tao. Yes, they're actually... Uh-oh. I just didn't want to say toxic kanina, but Uh-oh. they're actually the reason why you also feel bad. Tama? Yes, yes. I Uh-oh. had this conversation with a very good friend of mine two weeks, ay, two months ago, and she said, you can still have a relationship. Like, she can still love them from afar. Yes. But it does not true. necessarily mean that, hi, Zoe! <laughs> she wants but, to join though. <laughs> I, Sorry, but it doesn't necessarily mean that um, they're close or or that they keep an active part of your life. Mm-hmm. So for me, siguro, I also did minimize, minim, I also minimized the people. Your friends, that yeah, that's true. Because I want to be very intentional. I, I, I'll keep on coming back to the word intention. I want to be intentional with how I live yeah. and who influences me and who guides me and who gives, who, who, who I give my energy to. So yo, it's not just stuff. Actually, it's it's everything in general. I think kay parang yun din yung sinabi ko din kay Ralph kasi when we had this bold moments live, no? Na parang don't feel guilty about, you know, doing your inner circle and outer circle. Yes. So even if it means na isama mo sa outer circle yung family members mo that really nakaka-toxic na to the point na parang, alam mo yun, nakakagambala na sila sa mental health mo. Parang don't feel guilty about it. Yes. Kasi... It's, it's you na pinag-uusapan, di ba? Parang kapag, ka, well, yun nga, kapag nasa isang toxic relationship ka talaga, parang dun mo na na-feel na parang wala nang worth yung buhay mo. Yes, yes, actually. So, it's not just that. It's also, um, I think benefit din ng minimalism is um, dahil naging laser focus ka na dun sa intentions mo, doon sa what you also want, you also bring it out to the other parts of your life. For example, mm-hmm. sa house, sa home. Mm-hmm. Um, like, for example, di ba, we always say na we don't have enough money. We always say we don't have enough space or we don't have enough money. Uh, 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 enough time. Yeah. Actually, we do. God gives us enough and God gives us everything that we need. It's just that we don't see them because everything's just so cluttered. So, for example, when people say, diba, in the States, it's a billion-dollar industry. The storage space, it's a, vi- it's a billion-dollar industry. Why? Because when we cannot decide on the things that we have, we just put them in a, in a storage, thinking that one day we will go back and then yeah. we, will, you know, exp- uh, we will deal with it head-on. It's also, um, but we don't. We keep pieces of clothing from our childhood, thinking that uh, you no know, memories. We keep... Um, sirang bag na, ah, ayusin ko yan one day, sayang. Yeah. But it's just that, eh. it's gonna be something that you put in your closet at the back of your, ano, and then you just mindlessly forget about it. And when we can use, actually, surely when I started, I let go, I think, of 25% of my clothing lang. Wow. Okay, can you tell us more how to be, ano, parang still fashionable, but being minimalist? Sige, <laughs> um, You know naman, I'm not passionable by nature. <laughs> so, I mean, you can still be minimalist at the same time be fashionable, di ba? Yes, yes. Hindi kailangan gumastos ng, ng marami. Oo, yes. and... Um, there's a, there's something, there's a project on you, 
yung YouTube that our viewers might wanna see one day. It's Project 333. Pero hindi ko ginawa yun. Project 333, it's keeping vital pieces of your wardrobe and mix matching them. What's good about um, that is um, you can just mix akala mo ang dami-dami mong damit, pero, akala ng mga tao sa paligid mo, ang dami-dami mong damit, pero nag-mix and match ka lang pala. What I did for me is, I I opted to buy um, slightly expensive clothes, but are classics for me. That does not um, necessarily um, comply with the fashion standards as of today. So I always go for classics. Um, classic, black and white. Yeah. Lasers. Kasi the plain syempre, colors, neutral and plain. Sa trabaho ko, sa trabaho natin, di ba, we also meet people, we also um, are cold for meetings. So, syempre, kailangan maayos. Presentable na. ka, yeah. Yes. That's right. But I only keep staple items na I can mix and match in the future. I only have four pairs of shoes. Mm-hmm. Those are functional shoes. If there's an event na nakatakong, I have that. But they're all in nudes. They're all in... in They're all in colors na kahit anong isuot ko sa taas, it will still match my bottom. So, and my, 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 my shoe. So, parang, parang you're recommending at least three shirts, three pants. No, no, it's not that. 33 pieces of clothing yun eh, yung project. Oh. Na. So, depends. So how, 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 how you apply? Yes. Kaya nga ang sinasabi ko, um, it's my, my temp, my, my, my way may not necessarily be something that is useful to other people. Yeah. What we can do is to really examine our lifestyles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then, I, I guess some of our viewers have winter clothes, siguro. We have winter in the Philippines, de ba? So, parang ako when I when I went to this um to Australia last time, I told you, de ba? I only had a hand carry bag mm-hmm. for four weeks of travel. I only had one, and then when super lamig na, nang hiram ako na winter coat sa tita ko. Kasi she has lots of those. And when it's over, babalik ko sa kanya. Yeah. Kasi it's not something I will use all the time. So, Here, yeah, that's right. Yeah, ilang sapatos ang natuklap na dyan, ilang belts na, di ba? Maraming ganun eh. But when, we're in, when we are um, kumbaga conscious with what we need, what we actually use, that's when we finally decide and design our possessions that no longer is because of uso. Ito mm-hmm. yung nuot ng aking famous blogger idol. Yeah. It's no longer that. It's what's um what's appropriate and what's um what can help you out in life. Okay. How about the jewelry, Kay? How, how many pieces I, do you keep? I only have my mom's ring and I only I keep a pair of Um, wala ako ngayon. Pearl earrings. That's it. Pearl earrings, yeah. <laughs> That's so classical. Kasi, why? Because, nalala mo before, ewan ko kung uso pa rin ba siya ngayon. Yung mga fashion, fashion na mga necklaces before, na-addict ako doon, as in talagang bili ako ng bili. Tapos, oh, plus the hair accessories, ganyan. Yes. Oo. The my fan, everything. May paru-paru pa, remember yes. that. <laughs> Pero umabot kasi sa point na siguro tumatanda na ako, it's, yeah. no longer, um, some, it's no longer something I'm interested in. I'm not saying to other people na don't buy them. I'm not yeah, new. yeah. It's just that this is how I am now. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, it's, it's just something... It's I'm a matter of choice. Oh. Yeah, I want to be basic and I want to be simple as much as I can. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, also surely, I forgot, kasi may point ako dito, yung um, okay. our impact. Di ba... Um, the talk is about also about decluttering. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, decluttering kasi, it's when, di ba, I told you kanina, I said kanina about designing your space. Yeah. Design your space and designing your life as how you intend it to be. Mm-hmm. So, for example, um, it's also, for example, decluttering has so many benefits. Um, right now, it's a great time to declutter as in because nobody's leaving the house. <laughs> so mm-hmm. everybody can chip in and help out. And um, I don't know, the moms or the dads can take charge and tell their children, oh, anak, um, you can start with your room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll start with my room or whatever. And then let's just see 
So, anong maganda sa kanya? Number one is for me, health talaga. Mental health, number one actually. Yeah. So, there are studies out there that states na the mental health natin, it, um, clutter has so much impact in our mental health. Okay. Hindi na din napapansin, when, you, when we go home to a cluttered house, dishes unmade, beds unmade, it actually brings us more stress. Yeah. So, um, aside from that is also the impact that we give the people we work with and we live with. So, I asked one staff kanina, like, how do you feel if you go to the office tapos magulo yung mesa ng workmate mo? Hello sa mga workmates dyan. <laughs> so, how do you feel? And sabi niya, nasa stress siya and hindi siya nakakapag-focus. So, we also have that impact sa ibang tao pala when we're makalat or when we have a cluttered workstation or workspace. So, nawawala yung focus natin. Um, but marami din nagsasabi na pag kalat daw yung mesa, ibig sabihin mas matalino. I'm not really <laughs> sure about that. But um, it's easier to find things. Surely, I have a question. How, has it ever occurred to you na you bought things thinking na wala ka palang ganun sa bahay? Ay, wala kang ganun. Ah, a lot of times. Diba? Like, because siguro dahil nga hindi talaga ganun kaayos yung mga no, gamit. Like, so you have the tendency to buy. Yes, that happened to me before. Like, I bought tons and tons of highlighters. Mm. Kasi piko lang akong highlighter. Pag weekend, nandun ko palang highlighter. Yeah. So, so, yun yung mga times, ang gastos niya. Tapos, alam mo, kay minsan, like, sa couples, ha, for sure, this is something na, isa sa mga reasons din to bakit nag-aaway yung mag-asawa because of the budget. Yes! So, oh my gosh! Let's admit it, yeah. no? Uh, women talaga tends to buy more. Kaya nga kami sa e industry, the usually na tinatarget talaga namin for our ads, it's really women. Kasi yeah. they're very passive buyers, so they buy based on their emotions. So I think, eto, isa to sa talagang mga maliliit na reason, pero pag pinagsama-sama mo, nakakawala kasi siya ng trust dun sa relationship. Yes, yes. Actually, pang, tingnan natin sa nanggagaling muna. Mm. Bakit ba tayo compulsively na nagbabay ng things? Number one is, there must be something inside of us that feels that we're not enough. Yes. That's right? right? Na parang when we see somebody or, a, you know, some a woman walking that she feels so confident, we think it's because of her bag. Mm-hmm. Or it's because of her makeup. But it's actually her self-confidence that made her do that. So, tingnan natin sa sarili natin, why do I feel so unsecured? So, baka number one, or insecure, baka number one, eh, yun, feel mo may kulang sa sarili mo. So, when we start to think na we're not kulang eh, I don't need that additional bag. I only I own, already have dozens of bags. Another bag won't make you happy. Another lipstick won't make you happy. Actually, with lipstick, I only have a few na, and I just mix and match. Yung, yung kinokombine mo yung color. Mm-hmm. Tada! You have a new lipstick color. Yeah. So, sometimes kasi ganun. And then, for example, couples, of course, di ba, nag-aaway sila because nawawala yung trust. Yeah. Kasi the, the women tends to, ano, to reason out, kailangan ko to. Yes. And then the other, and then the husband would say, meron ka na yan, di ba? Yes. Happy wife, happy life daw, di ba? Yes. So, I, I cannot really say for sure kasi I don't have a husband. But, mm-hmm. what I can say about that is, big yung yung pinanggalingan nitong kwento nito because I was insecure. I felt I wasn't pretty enough. I felt I wasn't um, fashionable enough or confident enough. So doon nag-system actually yung mindless spending. Yeah. But so when, you really have to dig into yourself, no? to your inner sense and become aware of your action. It's not yes. something na maganda pa siya sa'yo. I mean, yes. It's not helping you anymore. Yes. How many bags will make you happy? How many yeah. sh- pairs of shoes will make you happy? Kasi it's not a question of how many. Why are you not unhappy? That mm-hmm. is the first question that you really have to, to take on. And I think it's important that we understand um, yung end game. Alam mo yung until when am I gonna end mindless? Do this, yeah. So yung nga ganun. Yeah! Uh-oh. So okay, before we ano, before we continue this, we would like to tell our viewers lang na hello and thank you for staying with us and just keep on watching because we have a lot of things pa na pag-uusapan. And also, we would like to recognize our co-presenter for this episode, the Bounce Back PH. 
<laughs> Hello, back. Bounce Back PH. Thank you, thank you for helping us out. And also for everyone who wants to help with the COVID-19 uh, crisis, for all the frontliners, even yung mga kababayan natin no, na uh, walang, wala pang relief hanggang ngayon, you can join the group of Bounce Back PH. And uh, marami doon, marami doon actually na mga conversation on how you can help. So may mga ginagamit din silang mga hashtag like if your post is about asking, then you can do the hashtag ask bounce back PH or if you want to help, then you can do the hashtag of uh, hashtag help bounce back PH. So please do visit their page so that we can be more ano, uh, we can be more helpful. Kasi parang isang organization sa isang group na binuo for us to be more systematic and organized and hindi tayo maging decluttered. <laughs> Thank you for adding me sa page. It's really informa informative sa akin, especially on how we can help. Actually, mm. I, wanna, I really want to point out on this time Now, number one, we can be productive at home. Yes, and, that's right. And, well, we can declutter, look at what we have. Actually, if you want to know more about it, you can search for the Dakon Mari method. Mm -hmm. Siguro kay ano, like what you've said, no, parang this is the right time for you to do the quarantine. I mean, for you to to do the declutter your house since uh, yes. we're in a quarantine. Yes. Uh, maybe you can share us, siguro some top three, siguro practical tips on how can we start it immediately. Yes, actually, you can start with your clothes. Actually, Kun Mari has a really good way. Because before mm -hmm. she um, that kasi di ba room by room tayo. Her way kasi is to really give homage to the house, to appreciate the house, to look at it not just the structure, but something that we found shelter in. Na pinrotektahan niya tayo. That's mm -hmm. me, kasi when we think of it just as, just as a structure, we don't see na, uy, ito yung nag ano sa atin, nag uh, keep us warm. Together, and, yeah. Diba? So we pay homage to the house and we declutter based on categories. So number one, you can do with clothes. Second, we can do books. So how many books have you really read doon sa books na nandyan? Sometimes we have, you know, bought that because cool time thing na may books tayo, but we don't really read those books. Clothes, if they're old na, if they're, they're no longer something that you use for the past six months, that's my rule. For the past six months, if I haven't used it, um, I take it out of my closet and I give it. So, so you give it to more, ano, para mas maging useful yung gamit. Yes. And it's really good na somebody found use for it and mm -hmm. found value doon sa bagay na yun. Pero with uh, Kunmari method, di ba? Parang meron siya ditong isang napaka big question. Yes. Kapag kailangan mo doon talagang hawakan yung gamit na yun, yeah. with clothes or books or anything, no? Yes. And then tatanungin mo sa sarili mo, does it spark this sparks joy. Yeah. Do you also do that? Um, before, before. Because <laughs> nung start ako, kasi it's a very emotional journey. Yes. Let me notice it's it's not easy. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people tell me I'm so cold. Because I just hindi na katulad. Because before, parang ganon din na feel ko. Oh, hindi eh. I had a date with you know this ganon ganon. Yes. With, this is the. Like, and I think uh, you know, yung journey mo of doing this and deciding this. I think parang yan din naman lahat yung journey din ng lahat ng sa lahat ng tao no. Na kung bakit ayaw din nila talaga na mag-declutter or mag-minimalize because of the emotional attachment to the things. Oh. Yes. That is I think the first um when you go to the sentimental um sentimental items, yun yung pinakamahirap na part. Yung detaching a memory from mm. it. Because at the end of the day, it's just a thing. Yeah, so how are you able to train your mind to to say that to you and finally let go of the things? Um, it's a process. It took me three years, I think, to finally say na. Kaya nga hindi ko pinupost before na minimalist ako eh. Ngayon ko lang talaga siya sinabi na I'm a self-proclaimed minimalist. It, take, it took time for me to do that and it took so much courage and so much... Kasi alam mo yung... Ito yun. I think people just... Uh, people just forget, tend to forget yung mga stuff nila sa bodega because they just don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with the memory. They don't want to deal with um, facing the memory head on. But when you start doing it, it just unveils one memory after one memory after one memory and now you finally understand. My mother does not live in her China. 
my mother lives in me. Yeah. My mother lives in how I do my thing. I think Kate, that's very good point, no? Um, siguro kaya din talaga ang dami ring mga gamit. It's because of the memories per se. Yeah. But the the things na nandiyan sa bodega mo, it's actually just a physical thing. Yes. Pero ang ayo lang natin i-confront is the emotion behind that that physical. material. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. And I actually practice din siya surely kasi hmm. um when we finally understand na that memory uh this thing served its purpose to me already yeah already at one point of my life but it no longer does now it will become something that you know you tend to okay this might be something that other people can can use so yun nga people might think na medyo cold na yung andaling mag let go actually it it's a, it's a constant practice with yun nga with your emotions and how you deal with it kasi kaya masakit yan kasi matagal mong iniwasan eh Yeah, that's true. It's like parang pain. You don't want to confront it because it's painful. Yes, pero sabi ko nga parang siyang multo. Mumultuhin at mumultuhin ka yan at one point in time. So it's parang just, kung hindi mo talaga mabibigyan ng parang end this pain, hindi ka yes. na patatahimikin. Oo. Yes. Actually, I would rather recommend that, they, that people um, do it gradually. Huwag agad-agad. Yung iba, talagang nag-purge, talagang nilet go lahat. 90% of their stuff. But I would highly recommend that you do it gradually. Hanggang sa... Oh, hindi ka purge. Like, talagang sa'yo, it's really more of, ano lang, gradual. Yes. Hindi Actually, pa- okay. A tip also, I do it every birthday ko. Mm-hmm. And every December. So, every birthday, it's a ritual that I give some of my clothes that I no longer find useful to me. Not just clothes, but also pieces of, of things, mga, mga gamit sa bahay. And then, I give it away. Mm-hmm. So, para siyang naging ritual ko na siya. So, actually, Shirley, we're also helping other people when we give it away and they find it useful themselves. Now, for example, sasabihin nila na, what if, kay I need a, um, a barena? What if I need, di ba, yung mga ganan? You only need it, it at some point, but you don't need it all the time. So, yeah. you borrow it from people who has it and you mm-hmm. actually make a connection with those people. You talk to them, yeah. di ba? Yun yung nangyayari. Kasi, oh, there's this big blender at, like, di ba, na pang, oh, ano, uh, 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 high-grade blender, but you only used it once. So, make It's a... It's more of, you know, uh, making it a habit to become aware of yourself and, yes, like what you said, really one. intentional living. Yes. So, yun, okay. Um, actually, hindi ko na namalayan yung oras. Isang oras na pala tayo. <laughs> I'm sure you have a lot of things but to say, but I'm very sad that we really have to wrap this up. <laughs> no? Yes. And maybe you can, ano siguro, parang your last advice for the people who's watching with us. And maybe you can also tell us on how we can reach you wow. so that other people could also console some advices from you on how you'll be able to do it. Yeah. If after COVID, if you invite me to your home to help you, I, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm happy to. Because it's just something that gives me joy. <laughs> <laughs> For me, siguro, Shirley, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Alongside minimalism, financial literacy, um, I'm also a fan of tiny, tiny houses, tiny homes, van living. It's when you're, um, yun nga, intentional with the habits and the the life you live. Um, to wrap it up, yung endless pursuit of of more just because we feel we're less is is not something that is sustainable so i want to live a life of of meaning and of connection and community so if those things will impede me from doing so then those are not things of value um how can people reach me oh my god just shoot me a message <laughs> <laughs> i have i have messenger I'm not that active on Facebook, pero ngayon medyo, so you might, I know, I might, you know, send them, send me a message. If you're nearby after COVID, let's uh, let's visit your home. Um, actually, it's a very personal process, so hindi ko siya, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-push. Actually, kanina we wanted to, how how do we co-live with people who's not, who are mm. not, diba? I think the first thing we do is make sure that it works for us. So they see that it's working for us. That they see, ah, oh, pwede rin pala yung ganong klaseng lifestyle. So yeah. parang 
Um, another thing is, uh, yeah, they can just shoot me a message. It can be fun. Yun lang, guys. It can. It's it's really fun. You just have to take it one by one, step by step. Don't be overwhelmed. Because actually, kaya nagsa stop yung mga tao to declutters because they feel overwhelmed. So yun lang. Thank you, Shirley. Yeah, thank you. Ako kay siguro if I may share, no, the greatest yes. learning that I've learned from you it's to be consistent of becoming aware of yourself. Yes. And I think this episode is not really to push anyone na o maging minimalist na kayo. Because yes. I think we have um different phase, different uh type of awareness. But this one, it can give some light or shed to other people na parang napapagod na sa buhay nila kasi parang every day parang nagiging cycle na lang yung life nila tapos parang they want to change pero they don't know how to how to make a change basically yes so, yes siguro baka eto na yung inaantay din nila na time na may baguhin kaya ako na habit sa buhay ko baka sakaling merong resulta na mas maganda yes no? so for again for our viewers hello to daddy sunny hi daddy sunny he's watching Maybe Ralph, you can say hello to our viewers too before we end this up. Hi everyone. Oh, ikaw, did you did you watch? Yeah, I did. Oh. What's your ano, greatest lesson? Manager ko. Uh, <laughs> ano question mo, Shirley? What's your greatest lesson? My greatest lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I learned a lot from Kay. Uh, hmm. To be honest with you, because I'm not in the same uh, mindset as she is when it comes to. Uh, really intentionally decluttering stuff because I tend to always be in a forward mode. I always in my imagination that I forget my stuff. Pero I think that's what I'm doing. Having her around, kasi when especially she shares, na kuya, you can improve on this pa. And I'm like, mm. magagalit mo na ako. One, like, why are you looking at my stuff? Kasi <laughs> but at the same time, uh, it makes me realize as well, and it's a start. It's a start. Yeah. We removed, I think, 5% of my stuff for the past two days. <laughs> it's a um, progress. So it's a progress. And what I'm happy is I'm, I'm really proud of my sister for really going, you know, being really consistent with this. Because uh, it's not easy. She's not like this before. Because we're going on. Old life. Old life. Old life. Yeah. I'm semi still. Uh, mm-hmm. But he is really doing it, and I hope that I get to learn more. It's really not about uh, minimalism totally, but it's yeah. trying to apply some practices that you can use for your life. So I'm thankful for everyone yeah. who's watching. We picked around 60 watchers early, uh, wa- viewers yeah. early. And I think, ano, parang iba sa kanila bitin. Like si Ate Divine, sabi niya, oh, tapos na agad! <laughs> Actually, Kay, you did really well. Shirley, I'm so proud. Yeah. Thank you so much, Raf. Thank you, yeah, Kay. Yeah. I've learned a lot. I think you're a better interviewer than I am, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, shut up, Raf. Talaga <laughs> 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 gano. But yeah, ako, I would like to honor both of you, no, Kay and Raf, for doing this. Um, kahit na sinasabi ninyo that you're you're not really in good in terms of relationship, but ako, I'm so inspired by you. And I think the viewers would also agree with me Kaya ka, di ba, ang sagot namin sa New Bold, kailangan yung magkaroon ng vlog. No? The like of Sibs. Kasi I think we will learn a lot from you guys. And we are hoping to see that. Ano. Kung kailangan nyo nang magbimediate sa inyong dalawa, I'm very much willing to give my service for free. <laughs> yeah, so, meron tayong referee. Oo. I think it's very ano, good. And help. Ito rin, ma, ma, ano yan. Oh, wala na ako masabi. Sa <laughs> <laughs> um, Oye, okay. yeah. backwards na lang, guys. Sure, sure, okay. You cannot find your value in the stuff with it. It's what you do and what you contribute to the society. It's not in the, it's not what you flash, it's not what you wear, it's not what you, you know, it's not inside your bag. It's what you contribute to the people with you and the people that you love. So, yon. let's not associate success with stuff because yeah. it's an endless pursuit of a rat race that nobody ever wins in. So, yun lang. Wow, Thank that's good, you. ha? Heavy. Sobra. Parang gusto ko nang umiyak tuloy. Ano ba to? <laughs> Thank you so much, Kay, for all the learnings. Thank you, Raz. Thank you, Shirley. You did well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see you tomorrow for another exciting episode, Raz. We'll be talking yeah. about... Tomorrow, we're going to talk about, wow, this is a really funny angle. Um, yeah. But I'm going to work at home. Uh, 
Erica Bel- later. Erica, by the oh. way, Erica, one of our NBU fellows and an amazing woman herself as well. Yes. She'll be talking about how to be more super productive while you're at home. Yes. Yes. I'm very, very proud of her. I'm very proud of everyone who's sharing out their ideas. Erica will be talking in the voice box page live later 3 p.m. Watch that out, guys. Yeah. Uh, and also tomorrow we will be having Bright Millennial, Garrett Maralit, who will be talking about personal finance. Yeah. And also we're going to have another one. Louie, who is financial passionate Mm-mm. financial passionate community she will be joining us tomorrow how to protect or how to improve your how to uh, manage your personal finances yeah. during the pandemic especially for a millennial because yeah. in the context of millennials they have so much strategies and ideas they want to share and I'm excited to do that tomorrow with you Shirley yeah see you see you so with that thank you so much to our viewers and stay safe and stay healthy. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. See you Bye. Bye.